It's the wave! Cool Boy Jeff has the, uh, the interview, well, the pleasure of doing an interview with Miss Stasia Gorgeous. Yes. You know what I'm saying? She's a beautiful actress. She has just dropped her own film. Yes. And as far as her age, I'm not going to say it, but it's really good that somebody of her age bracket is doing so many things at an early age so that can prepare her within her future. So I'm not going to say too much else. I'm going to let her go ahead and introduce herself. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Stasia Gorgeous. I um, recently just came out um, with On the Hill film, short film, and um, I wrote it, I directed it, and acted in it. You know, something that I've always been wanting to do, something that I did in school. Mm -hmm. I recently just graduated from Virginia Union University with mm -hmm. a Bachelor's in Fine Arts in Theater, and now we are here. Woo woo, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Black excellence at its best. Yes. So I just want to start off from the beginning. Like, what got you invested in being an actress? Was it a certain movie? Was it a certain character? What was it for you? I feel as though ever since I was a little girl, I've always wanted to act. You know, just like sitting at home watching TV, you know, Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, um, looking at, watching Sister, Sister, everything I've watched, you know, um, I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So um, acting is definitely one. Now, me with directing, um, being in school actually introduced me to wanting to direct. Okay. So I think that's something great as well. And I've always wrote, so I am a writer. Um, a lot of people... You know, don't even know that. Right. But I, I wrote this film, and right. I'm proud to say that I did. It's right. something that I can be proud to say, like I wrote it. Okay, okay, and I and I definitely want to get into that. Um, now, when it comes to you, uh, what were certain influences that really prepared you as far as being an actress? Like, of course, you went to Virginia University, and you had a major within uh, fine arts. So, what was that that helped you got you to where you are right now? Well, um, honestly, when I first went to school, I was not a theater major. Mm -hmm. um, I was an English major, which brings me back to writing, you mm -hmm. know. I was focusing on English, and um, I went to Chihuahua University first. Okay. So that's what helped me, like, figure out what I want to do. I did my um, very first play there. Okay. Um, it was Hamlet, Hamlet 2, a okay. comedy by Hamlet 2, okay. and I um, started as Ophelia. Um, so it was very different to be doing a Shakespeare play. Like okay. that helped me get myself out there. Right. And then when I transformed into Virginia University, I said, okay, I'm going full time acting versus, you know, um, being an English major. Mm -hmm. So that's how, that's pretty much what inspired me. Mm -hmm. Now, with you and you graduating with a uh, fine arts major, mm -hmm. uh, you still using it today. What is something that you could be able to give back to people who have? gotten degrees in the field and they're kind of looking for the big break but instead of they don't take the time to make their own niche so they can further on what they actually went to school for you definitely have to focus on yourself mm -hmm. i understand that a lot goes on in people's lives day to day and you know we often put aside the things that we really love mm -hmm. to deal with things that we going on within the world as far as bills you know as far as um trials and tribulations that comes our way mm -hmm. you know so i definitely think um you have to just stop and focus on yourself which is what i had to do you mm -hmm. know i let uh, i let my career kind of get away from me but i didn't let that discourage me and saying, gotcha. oh, it's too late. Gotcha. You know. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. So, while you was at school, what was your favorite plays that you was involved in that you can still count from this day? Um, the one that I just mentioned, that will always be my favorite play, even though that um, was probably one of the first ones I did was mm -hmm. that Hamlet too. Okay. That um, is one, it's another one that I did at Virginia Union. I actually wrote that as well. It's called, <laughs> <That's what's up. laughs> it's called Not This Time by Stage of Gorgeous. And um, I like went, on, went all around the campus putting mm -hmm. flyers and stuff on it for people to come. Mm -hmm. um, I wrote that play as well and acted in it. It was a one woman show. We call it a one man show, but I'm mm -hmm. a woman. So, gotcha. one woman show, and I did like seven characters in one play. Gotcha. Yeah. So, as an actress, mm -hmm. can you uh, describe to me what's the pros and the cons? As far as what your job is concerned, I start off with the cons. It's very, um, you know, when you when you're dealing with a lot of people, mm -hmm. and say you're going to audition for something, you have to um, 
not let the people that you see coming in to audition discourage you like omg she look like she's on top of it you mm -hmm. know stuff like that you can't let that discourage you, you have to be confident in yourself mm -hmm. and i deal with that a, um, a lot too you know being discouraged and it's just like oh you know i'm not going to get it you know stuff like that you have to really be confident and believe in yourself mm -hmm. and that's what i had to do you know i just had to say okay i got this you know but i have to believe i can't let you know, somebody else just tell me something and not go with it. I have to believe it for myself. Mm -hmm. so. That's what's up. I, I like how you have that willpower to keep on pushing when things get tough. And when it comes for tough things, it comes for tough challenges. Now, as far as you being an actress, what was the challenges that you had faced while you trying to prepare for roles or certain shows and stuff like that? You know, um, like I said, a lot of people will, you can't listen to people. Mm -hmm. How about that? Yes. You cannot listen to what other people would say because they were trying. You have people that try and discourage you, and then you have people that, you know, try and encourage you. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to choose for yourself which is best. And I had a lot of people that I thought was in my corner, you know, or that was teaching me that was discouraging. Right. Most certainly. Right. You know, I didn't, you know, I tried to do a lot, and, you know, sometimes you need other people's. Um, I know for one time for a, I wanted, I believe I wanted to be in, um, go to New York okay. for an apprenticeship. Okay. And you know, I think you have to get a recommendation. That, that's the word I was looking for, okay. recommendation. Gotcha. So, you know, and that's when you have to go to people that you think mm -hmm. are for you. Mm -hmm. And then you will find out they not for you mm -hmm. because they are very discouraging. Right. You know, so that's what I mean when I have to say, when I say be confident in yourself and not let anybody mm -hmm. tell you what you who you are. Gotcha. Yeah, you won't tell me that um I I'm not able to direct. Right. When I graduated with a bachelor's of fine arts. Hey, you yeah. Better, you better so let them know. <laughs> you have to you be confident in yourself. I like that too. Mm -hmm. Now, with the problem that comes with it, uh, fast forward. Um, now, through Corona, was you having any issues on trying to put anything together? Like, how was that for you? Because I know as an actress, you got to right. look for certain jobs or as you, you plan on making your own films. But how was that for you doing going through COVID-19? I hate to say this, but going through COVID-19, um, it was a curse. Of course, it's a disease mm -hmm. going around and you have to protect yourself. We masking up mm -hmm. now days. But for me, such a blessing such a blessing in disguise no lie about it i mean because like i said i had you know the time to okay this is what i want to do i had the time to write i had the time to think about what i wanted to write what mm -hmm. i wanted to do i had the time to you know pay this off so i can get here and do that and um i had the time to practice i had the time mm -hmm. COVID 19 was a blessing for me and that's what you hate to say? This sounds good to you? Yeah, I mean, because, you know, um, I mean, for a lot of people, it's been, you know, a lot of people lost their jobs. Yeah. You know, a lot of people. So it was a down here, but I'm speaking for me. Mm -hmm. I respect that. Definitely a blessing. That's what's up. And what is one word that you can take away from 2020, uh, either good or bad, mm. you know what I'm saying, that helps you? You said what's one word? Yeah, one word that you can describe how 2020 was for you. You know what I'm saying? You said it was a good thing. You treated you well. But thinking about the year 2020 itself, if you have one word to describe it, what would it be? Moving forward. You cannot let, you cannot, like I said, you cannot let, okay, it's too late. I don't want to forget about it. I'm going to just keep going to work. Right. I'm going to move forward, and I will not give up on myself. Right. As, you know. I, I'm just not going to give up on myself. I hear that. Because yeah. you can't do Because anybody right. going to do anything else for you, except for you. Exactly. For yourself. Exactly. That's what's up. So, now, pushing away from COVID-19, starting uh, 2021, mm -hmm. uh, you said back in December you was planning and working on the film that you had just now put out. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, what was the focus behind that? You know, like I said, um, what God puts people in your life for a reason. Mm -hmm. That is a fact. Because I had someone who, you know, I didn't even really know like that pushing. And right. I mean really pushing me like, you're great, you're good. Very encouraging, you know, very inspired, you know, by me. And like, I, you, you know, I would just think, oh, you know, I'm, 
some people talk down on their selves, and I would mm -hmm. say that I kind of do that about myself sometimes. So to have this person, to have God put this person in my life, because I have no idea no. why me and this person got in contact. Right. But they were very encouraging, and that's why I started writing. Right. That's why I kept moving forward. Right. And then, you know, um, I may not um, you know, talk to that person today, but I'm thankful for that person coming into my life. Mm -hmm. Everything does happen for a reason. Yes, it do. Mm -hmm. Yes, it do. Now, as far as this time, if you can, how many uh, films have you written or directed so far? Well, um, if you have some on the way, you, right. can, you, you can save it. Okay, yeah, well, I would say about three. A three? Okay. Mm -hmm. Including On the Hill. Gotcha. I have um, part one that I've already released. Okay. So that's out now, and I'm currently working on part two. Okay, okay. Now, let's talk about the uh, the greatest accomplishment that I feel like is really good for your career. Uh, let's talk about On the Hill, right? Now, give us the gist of what the uh, story is about the film that you created. Okay, so when I first started writing this, I said I'm going to write something because I am going to, you know, start get back into my field of acting. So I'm going to just write it, you know. So when I started writing this, I thought, like, what can I relate to something, like, in my life that happened? So this, like, on the hill is not completely about my life. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's just I took, like, one small thing and put it in there, and then I went from there. Mm -hmm. So that, um, that's pretty much how, what encouraged me to, like, write that, something that happened in my life. Mm -hmm. um, so that, okay. that's what on the hill came from. Okay. Now, what about the cast? How was that choosing the people for your film? Okay, so, yes, this is, this is what I'm ready to talk and get into. Okay. So, like I said, it is hard dealing with people. Mm -hmm. um, when I started writing it, it was for, like I said, the person that was encouraging me. I was basing it off of, okay, this is going to be a me. It was two, you know, a man and a woman. This is going to be a me and a him. Mm -hmm. Now... It didn't end that way. Mm -hmm. You know, it didn't end that way. Initially, the person that I wanted to be um, acting in it is not even a person that act in it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, I mean, like I said, moving forward, that is the word for this this year. Gotcha. We're going to move forward. Gotcha. Um, so, I'm ha oh, I'm happy to say I even wrote, you know, it's a, it's a rap skit in the On the Hill scene. I even wrote the rap. Oh, you know, wow. everything in, you know. Like I say, everything happens for a reason. Right. I'm glad that person, you know, un unfortunately, it didn't go as planned. Right. Nevertheless, I still made it happen. Mm -hmm. So with the cast, um, it's some, I hooked up with someone that I graduated with from Virginia mm -hmm. University. And um, that's how I got in contact with Dolo. He plays Drew in On the Hill. Okay. Check him out as well, y'all. Gotcha. And he's actually a rapper. Okay, the yes, light skin guy. Yes, no, no, no. he's an um, upcoming rapper, and it's great for me to have because initially that's how I wrote it. Right. So when I was looking for, I'm like, listen, I got to move forward. I gave myself a deadline. Um, so I said, this will get done. Mm -hmm. I gave myself a deadline. It was January 24th. I said, I'm going to, and I gave, and I made a um, schedule, an appointment with the videographer, mm -hmm. Jeremiah Banks, Banks Visuals. Yeah, I know Banks. And I said, well, I'm going to find somebody. Right. Somebody going to play this part. Right. And that's when I found, came across and found Dolo. Right. And, I mean, he was, you know, very willing to do it. And, see, he was he is not an actor. Right. So I kind of coached him and worked with him. But right. in the end, he came out. It came, everything came out great and everything went smoothly. Right. So um, me, you know, using him to rap, that's kind of like, you know, connection-wise, mm -hmm. you know, because he's already rapping, you know, trying to get himself out there, and I already had the rap written out, mm -hmm. you know, for him, so I just had to, you know, like, hey, do you know, this is what you say, and this is how you're saying this stuff, and it came, everything came out great, he, everything up. turned out great. That's what's up, and I'm really, mm -hmm. and I want to congratulate you on actually putting out the film that Thank was you. not only built for the culture, but you was able to help put people on and yeah. showcase their talent as well. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that's right. really big of you. Success is not what you have, it's about how many people that you touch. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. No problem. Now, as far as this film, and I can't wait to check it out myself. Now, what is two things that you can be able to take away as far as uh, good and bad? Well, not good and bad, but good and what you can learn from this what own I can film. Right. Um. 
for me, and I'm always talking for me, mm -hmm. I would say that God was with me every step of the way. Yeah. He is definitely my number one supporter. Right. You know, he is why everything worked out perfectly. And when I say he is with me, he is literally with me. When I went to go, um, when we um, filmed for the the rapping part, mm -hmm. when we did um, film for that, with me. Mm. I mean, I'm serious, and you know, it's not a. I'm not joking, or I'm not boosting or anything like that. You know, I can tell because it was. I just gave him one little scenario. Mm -hmm. I love saying this because I, this is how I know he was with me. So, um, I was telling him that you know, for um, one of the parts in the rapper say, um, I get a call, but it's unknown. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like hell no. So, I said when that when the unknown part come on, I told. The um, artist, I said, hey, you know, I want you to say my number. Your phone is unknown because I wanted to come up, you know, when he's when the video I was recording for him mm -hmm. to say unknown on that part. I wanted him to get an unknown call, you know, and him declining the call. So before he could even change my name, as unknown a uh, unknown call came up popping <laughs> on his phone. I'm dead uh, serious. I'm dead serious. And then it's another part where he say. Um, I look to the left, I'm seeing flashing lights. Yeah. Why was it police on the scene? Uh, you know, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I'm not, you know, I'm not just boosting. I'm not doing this by myself. I have all the support that I already need. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. And it's all coming from him. Right. So if he approve it, I definitely got to what? Move forward. Hey, you got to mm -hmm. talk your talk. Yeah. Talk your talk. So, what is the next thing that's going to happen for you, Ms. Gordon? Because now you got these plans, mm -hmm. you got these projects, now you're trying to work with the people, you right. got to be more connected and networking with folks. What is the next big thing for you? The next big thing is to, well, I, like I said, I'm working on part two now. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, um, I already really recorded for, for the movie scene where we just have to film the um, rapping part again. Mm -hmm. So, that's kind of what what's what's going on right now you yeah. know i have to complete this and then when this is completed i'm still i still have more projects coming up whether it's you know as big as a short film or as small as a monologue me just reciting a monologue anything is practice and anything thing is work that i'm putting out right you know so that's pretty much what's going on i definitely want to keep writing right. I, I don't want to stop that because I'm a great writer right. um, I definitely want to keep directing and I love all that what I'm trying to do because it's a variety of things alright I like that yeah. I really do like that mm -hmm. so I want you to go ahead and let everybody know where they can follow your work your social media platforms all that good stuff follow me at underscore Stasia Gorgeous S-T-A-Z-J-A G-O-R-G-O-U-S mm -hmm. and please sub oh Follow me on um, YouTube, Stasia Gorgeous, mm -hmm. S-T-A-Z-J-A-G-O-R-G-O-U-S. Um, and subscribe, like, comment, share, let all your friends, your aunties, your mm -hmm. uncles, let everybody know because I'm coming. Amen. I am coming. And thank you, Miss Stasia Gorgeous, yes. for the beautiful, kind words and also what you're putting forward for everybody to be able to see. Um, you just taking it to another bar, and you never know from this video, you never know who you're going to inspire. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Just like somebody inspired you. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely Thank see you. that. Thank you. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. This is our first interview right here on the Wave 804, so we are very appreciative of that. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for all the Wave 804 interviews mm -hmm. and also weekly updates as well. You gotta stay tuned on it. Stay gorgeous. Keep doing what you're doing, love. Stay Thank blessed you. and happy. I'm, I'm right. glad that God put something in your spirit to keep you motivated. Mm -hmm. It's your boy Kubo Jeff, the Wave of the Four, and we out, man.